All right, I got the truck to the garage and I started doing measurements and mocking up and I did not like anything about how this truck was sitting. Um, the cab, I'll show you. The cab was tilted back like three inches, so I threw just a seat in, just to sit in there and see, mock it up. And it was a factory seat out of this car, but so I'm sitting in there and I had the hood on it and I could not see over the hood for the life of me. And I figured looking at it. So then I set the bed on there a little bit better and I seen that it was tilted back. So this was tilted back and the gap here and here was really tight and it was really wide at the bottom. So I'm like, what the hell's the deal here? So I loosened up the cap mounts and I started jacking it up. So I jacked up the back about three inches and I didn't like the cab mounts at all and it was sitting really high and I'm like well I want this truck to sit kind of low it's two-wheel drive so I realized the front couldn't come down any further inside this red support uh, let me see if I have the angle bracket right here this is factory so this sat in there like that. So I dropped it about three inches in the front. So the rad won't fit inside this thing anymore. So that's fine by me. So I had to cut that out here. And then this is just sheet metal here. And I just notched it on both sides, dropped it through the frame. The front of the frame right here was hitting so I cut the front of the frame off and dropped the grill behind it I'm gonna mount this bumper but I'm probably gonna have to trim the frame back almost to this cross member that was put there and then mount the bumper build brackets off the frame um there's just a hey let me see if I have a flashlight or something uh just a c-channel mount with a hockey puck there was another hockey puck in there so I took that out and dropped it down wherever the hockey puck is, inch, inch and a half there. So that came down, this came down three inches. Um, I would have took that mount out, but it's literally about a half inch from hitting the floor pan in the frame. And I don't feel like relocating the floor up. So that is fine for the moment. So I just put these, seat after I dropped it, I got the cab to where I wanted it. I just put angle iron brackets in between there, welded it all up, do some cleaning that up. The front's bolted here. And the next problem was uh, this guy, you can see over here to over here he had a just square tube, this square tube actually, I'm running across the frame. And I'm looking at it and I'm like the drive shaft's got to pass right there, so I was looking at the drive shaft angle, and it would have hit. And these brackets were holding the frame up, and they were sitting like up here. So I cut the brackets down. I'm just gonna weld them here. Uh, so I'm gonna mount these to the cab, bolt them in, weld it to this square tube, and then build brackets from the top of the frame, not the middle of the frame. Extended it, and. So I can sit the back of the cab down. I'm just sitting on jacks right now to make sure it's level. Got my level here. And uh, just do that. So these had like a three inch drop on them. So now that they're shortened up, we shouldn't have any drive shaft problems or clearance problems. So that is problem number one. After that, I'm gonna work on the bed. I'm gonna measure all around it, slice all the way around it, and then probably six inches, I'm gonna measure six inches up, seven inches, eight, whatever I figure, and raise the bed floor up so I can drop the bed lower on the frame. Uh, I started making a patch panel for that. I gotta get some 3 16 plate or eighth inch plate. I want to plate the whole floor because I sat in the seat and the truck flexed a little bit and I don't like it. I showed you in the first update video. If you watch the back of the cab, it moves when you shut the door. So I'm just trying to give it some more rigidity. So working on that. 
uh, that's it. And after I get all the body mounted, I'd like to get the bumper mounted, figure out hood hinges. These things are seized up tight. And I'm not too worried about the front hinge. I can make something work eventually. The back hinges, I'd like to figure out something. I really don't care. Even if I have to add piano hinge to it. I really don't want to do that, but I really don't care. Um, I want to do mount the steering column, brake lines, get some of this factory junk out of here, shit like that. Okay, I didn't show too much along the way. I kind of just started attacking things, but I got the cab 100% where it needs to be, all bolted down. Made a cross member for the rear of the cab. Um, let me show you that. Okay. So we have the cab mounted to this. These are factory. I don't know if they're off the S10 or not, but then it goes to a square tube. And then I raised it up with some uh, blocks. It's all welded. Nothing pretty, but you can see the drive shaft angle. This was sitting down here. And where the drive shaft angle would have came down, it would have got into there. Uh, and then you can see into this. So, I mean. If the drive shaft is going to hit this, which I highly doubt it will, I could just notch this and that won't be a problem at all. But that's how that's mounted. Pretty sure I showed that, just well of that. Um, the bumper is mounted. I have it leveled in there. Instead of cutting the frame back like I thought I was going to have to, I just, since this is like C-channel, it's just like the top lip sits inside the bumper, so I notched the bumper like a groove in it. So it would sit in there and then I welded a piece of angle iron on the bumper and then a piece of angle iron that way and then bolt it through so kind of give you an idea you can see just like that and then angle iron bolted like that uh, there it is on that side the bumper is solid ain't going nowhere um, that took a majority of my time I slipped the steering column into the shaft here. Um, it's where I'm kind of having a problem now. So where the brake pedal is, is furthest over left possible. And the steering wheel sits to the right. So the steering wheel's over here to the right. It's a little off center, not too far off from where the stu these studs are right here, here and here that's where it mounted factory but i think i'm going to put a bench seat instead of this shitty arc 7 bucket in here and then i could sit wherever um it's centered with like the brake pedal here and where the gas pedal would be so that's fine the cluster is definitely not centered i mean it wasn't centered from factory from where the center of the bolt was so that's just off to the side um so I think this is going to work here. I'm trying to weld up some kind of bracketry. I got a piece of got a piece of flat stock that I'm going to mount to this ear to that ear. So I just had a flat piece of metal going across it. Bolt that there. And then... Oh, fuck. It's moving. And then run a piece of angle iron from there to the top. Here you see... There was like a, a cut out there, but it had a factory filler panel in there. And I'll show you. It was this piece. So I took that out. This is really flimsy. I could bend it almost with my hand. I got this like a uh, 3 16 plate that I had laying around. I have another piece I'm going to put here and weld it to this piece. And then I'm going to tack that bracket to this, pull it out, weld it fully because there'll be a pain in the, the column sitting there. And then I'm going to weld this plate 100% around. And I think that'll give it mm, the rigidity that it needs so the column won't move. And then I'm not sure. There's like a little collar there. Two bolt holes. And maybe I'll make a angle iron bracket for that too. I'm not sure yet. And then I'd like to get some sheet metal and close off the firewall. But 
that could wait just so I know how it steers then I don't think this will be in the way for the motor at all maybe for the exhaust but the exhaust is not a problem I'll figure something out for that